Hi everyone, good evening. It's oh, what a turnout! Brilliant. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, really impressed with the number of people that come along to these charter events. Um, every time we seem to get more people, so welcome to those that haven't been before. Uh, it's really a testament to the commitment to health and safety, particularly in the rebuild. Uh, hopefully a vote of confidence in our ability to attract relative and inspiring speakers to this event. I'm Graham Darlow and I'm the Chief Executive of Fletcher Construction and the Chair of the Safety Charter Steering Group. Uh, I'd really like to acknowledge WorkSafe. They have been such a brilliant supporter of this initiative and again tonight they're sponsoring the event, um, paying for the food and the and the, uh, the refreshments um, and, and the venue. Um, so we've got a jam-packed evening, as you can see. Um, and firstly, Christina will be welcoming our first group of new signatories, including, and then later, um, the Honourable Leanne Dalziel, uh, Mayor of Christchurch. Um, the Mayor will talk to us briefly about the importance of health and safety for the Council. We've also invited some really special guests here to be with us the, this evening, and I'll be acknowledging their contribution towards the establishment of the Charter a few years ago, a little later on. Uh, then we'll wel welcome our second group of new signatories, and our key speaker for the evening is Michelle Fowler, who's going to talk to about the touchy subject of alcohol and other drugs uh, in the workplace. Finally, Rob Sloan, Managing Director of Jenny and Homes, will congratulate the first recipients of the Safety Charter Champion Awards, which is a really good initiative that we brought on recently, and I think we've got about 14 people, Rob, who will be receiving their, um, their awards. So before I invite Christina to the stage, I'd just like to briefly touch on a couple of things concerning the Charter. So firstly, a really big thank you to you all uh, who have been championing, championing the Charter and the real benefits of being a signatory. Currently we have 275 signatories, so that's up 101 um, signatories from last year. Um, and we've, we've done an incredible amount of work through the year, so I'm just going to list some of those things that we've done. Firstly, we've held nine toolbox talks and provided posters on all the charter critical risks and fatigue. Secondly, we've provided four sets of guidance notes on health and safety leadership for directors, for managers, for site supervisors and for workers. We've launched um, the members area on the website, including the availability of an automated performance assessment improvement plan for signatories as well as a personal leadership assessment tool for directors, for managers and for site supervisors and workers. And if you fall into one of those categories, which I'm sure you do, um, please go onto the website and, f and do an assessment. We've had a number of people in the steering group do that and it's a real insight into where you, where you are in your health and safety journey. So of the 267 charter performance assessments that we've done, uh, we've provided um, supporting signatories with their charter performance. They provide information to the charter groups to inform uh, priorities. The charter officer, Libby Carr. Libby, can you just put your hand up, please? She's done some fantastic work engaging with over 2,000 workers on 60 sites across Canterbury, with over 700 workers completing a worker health and safety survey, and that has given us um, some really good information on what workers think about the way that healthy, health and safety is managed in their workplace. The results of this work will be available at the end of this year, so very soon Libby's already written her report, and we'll be using that data to uh, lay out our initiatives for next year. More information is available both on the Charter website and the members areas to support signatories to improve their Charter performance. 
This includes the charter organisations sharing of their internal health and safety documentation. It's just fantastic the way that companies are sharing their health and safety knowledge uh, between the signatories. And then finally, the Charter Champion Awards, which we will be launching tonight. So thanks very much for your feedback. We recently completed a survey of Charter members and we wanted to hear from you all how the Charter is working and where we should be focusing our efforts to support you in health and safety. So thanks for all of you who took the time to provide us that valuable feedback. We've been considering that as a part of our development work for 2016 and the steering group update including work on the program for 2016 and we've set um, some time early in the new year to focus our efforts on the initiatives for 2016. Now I'd like to hand over to Christina so you can welcome the first group of sig signatories. Thanks Christina. Thank you, Graham. Um, and what an honour to be able to welcome some of our new signatories to the Safety Charter. Um, it's, a, it's a great commitment to be coming and signing up to the Safety Charter. So let's get on with it. Um, starting with Jim the Builder, um, Andrew Clark. <laughs> AJ Scott Construction, John or Daryl Scott. BD Construction, Darren Bruce. <laughs> Brymac Tiles, James Thompson. <laughs> Davron Scaffolding, David Devine. <laughs> Daverick Contracting, Bruce or Trish Kane. Dormer Construction, Peter Dormer. <laughs> EWD Engineering Consultants Limited. <laughs> Integrated Development Solutions. Leighton Contractors. <laughs> Lily Builders. New Zealand Access and Safety Limited. Surgan Building Services. Smart Lift Systems. Takahi Construction. Just on the ground. And Tindus. 